These shoes have over 500 miles of running on them and they cost under 50 bucks. Let's talk about them. Before I start talking about all the things I like about these shoes, let's dive into the history on how I got to this point in the first place. And if you want to skip that, just drop down below and you can bypass this section and move on to my review of these shoes. I started using minimal shoes about 12 years ago and I started with New Balance shoes. I use them for running and basically everything and I transitioned into kind of that barefoot minimal lifestyle. Now over the years it seems like a lot of those bigger companies have moved away from the minimal shoes and to find shoes that actually fit my feet because I do have small feet. I wear a size 7 in men's. So I've used minimal shoes across a lot of different brands. New Balance, Merrill, Zeros, all of them. And typically when I find a shoe, I wear them out completely before I get another shoe because it is so hard for me to find shoes that fit. So about a year ago, I was having a really hard time finding a minimal shoe to run in because it just seems like there's not very many options out there. So trying to look all over the internet, I just couldn't find anything in my size. And finally, I went on to Amazon as a last ditch effort. And immediately on Amazon, what I found was Witten's shoes, which right away they had my size. They only had one color in my size, but they did have my size and it was about 40 bucks. So I figured instead of paying 120 to $150 on shoes like I normally do, for 40 bucks, why not? Let's give it a go. And once I got the shoes, I went for a couple runs. I really liked them and I was like, you know what? Let's get some for hiking as well. So I went on, I found another pair of shoes that were a different color and in my size that said a different brand, but they looked basically the same. They were called orange Segueros and those are not the same. Thought they were, but they absolutely destroyed my feet. So I don't know what's different about those, but they are not the same as Witten's. So I went back and now all I'm using are the Wittens. I'm using them for hiking. I'm using them for my everyday. They have like a street style as well. And I'm also using them for hiking. So I have had this pair right here for over a year and I have more than 500 miles on them. And I have seen some reviews where they were questioning about the durability of these, if they'd be able to last. Well, as you can see, they are not torn up at all. The bottoms are starting to get worn, but it's not like they are just falling apart, which I've had shoes around 300 miles completely fall apart on me. So after 500 plus miles, I am now starting to feel rocks under the bottom, so it is time to retire them. But I got the exact same shoe because at under $50, I can get three pairs of shoes and go 1,500 miles for the same price for a regular shoe from some of the big brands. Now, whether you want to support a company on Amazon or not, that is up to you. But for me right now, since a lot of companies are moving away from the minimal type shoes and it's really hard for me to find some that I like, I'm going to be sticking with these for a little while. Now there's definitely going to be people that would say these are not fully barefoot minimal shoes. And I would say they are correct. These, it's not like you're running absolutely barefoot. These have a little cushion in them which actually is really nice if you're trying to get into barefoot or minimal style of running and just walking around. And these shoes are technically a little heavier than you would want to if you're trying to go barefoot. But other than that, so far the quality has been fantastic. I've been really shocked about it. And I would love to hear from you if you've used these shoes before, what's been your experience with them as well? So drop down in the comments, let me know your thoughts on these shoes and if there's something that you're gonna wanna check out. And if you do want to check them out, there are links in the description for you to go through that helps my channel without costing you anything extra. So head on over to the description, use those links, help me out and subscribe to the channel because with the summer, there's gonna be a lot more gear reviews coming out for the different stuff that I'm using for workouts and backpacking and hiking. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.